Good design is all about making things as simple as possible that do the job required. This is about the simplest Morse telegraph system you can get. It comprises a key, battery and buzzer, i.e. a Morse practice oscillator, with two wires going to an identical similar station. That could be in another room, with the cable between them needing only two conductors. That's fine if you're happy to have a separate battery for each station. Or if you didn't want that, you could take out one of these batteries and have a third wire connecting this point to this point. So then this station with the battery becomes the master and this without the battery becomes the slave. A bit like the older type of intercom systems you used to see. What if you don't have a buzzer, but have a few old speakers? In that case, the simplest approach is to build a transistor audio oscillator. I described one a few days ago when I talked about a reverse avalanche LED flasher, which I later made to form an audio oscillator. This is its circuit. It uses a transistor on first sight connected the wrong way round. In this case, this is an NPN transistor with the emitter going to positive. Other interesting things include no use of the base connection and the higher the normal voltage required to allow the avalanche function to work. In this case, two 9 volt batteries in series to give 18 volts. It's a simple and efficient circuit, so we'll use it to make a simple two way telegraph. All that's required is an 8 ohm speaker an NPN transistor using only the collector and emitter connections, a resistor 1K, and an electrolytic capacitor 4.7 microfarad. These are the two 9 volt batteries connected in series. The cable between the units requires three conductors. There's a braid, a white lead, and a blue lead. This loose wire is the makeshift key. You can hear Morse, not only through the main unit speaker, but also through the slave unit speaker. That also has a makeshift key. Again, it gives you Morse through both speakers. I'm using three wires, so you don't have to have a battery at the slave side. That's particularly desirable, given that we are already using two 9 volt batteries in series to give the required 18 volts. You'll notice there's no on off switch. That's because none is required. When both keys are up, then there's nothing flowing through the transistor and no current is drawn from the batteries. With the 1K resistor, about 11 milliamps is drawn. If you wanted to get more battery time from your 9 volt batteries and are willing to tolerate a lower volume, then you could increase its value up to say 3.3 or 4.7 K. You'll then get current down to about 3 milliamps. The tone pitch also lowers, but if that's not suitable, you could compensate by reducing the value of the 4.7 microfarad capacitor. If you want a more sinusoidal output waveform, then you could make a low pass filter and connect it just before your speaker. You could try a 2.2 ohm resistor in series and a 47 microfarad capacitor across the speaker. That will attenuate some of the high pitched components of the signal and give you a pure note, although one at lower volume. Just to conclude, this is a super simple Morse telegraph system. All you need are two speakers, a 1K resistor, an NPN transistor, a 4.7 microfarad electrolytic capacitor, two 9 volt batteries and some Cat5 or similar cable to connect between the two units and you'll have yourself a simple telegraph system suitable for room to room communication.